Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have a nice little EVA DPS Euro Cylinder. The keyway on this thing is fun, makes it more difficult, and this thing definitely has security pins in it. Let's see if we can pop this open real quick and uh, show you around, then go home and show you what's inside of here. All right. We got two already. One. I'll set them five. Make sure I'm under it here. I think it's set. Five is definitely set. Four. There you go. Four. One. Big false set on one. Son of a bitch. Let's reset everything with that. We're back in again, or back again in the back, getting five. Another one. set four feels set oh no, i don't think it's on the pins <laughs> five feels set three i think it's this first pin right here oh there we go got that got a click out of it let's make sure it's set I think it is. Check everything else again real quick just to make sure. Four. Three. Five. There we go. Yay! It was way, way back there. I was going back and forth between uh, one and three there because two felt really stiff and one and three, they feel like they're so high up there that I just wasn't positive. And yeah, looks like I was right. Yeah, one and three, really high up there. Yeah, this is a uh, Eva DPS. Those on the side, sorry, dirty hands, I'm actually laying on the ground. Those on the side are more for key control than anything. This is another one of these locks that uh, 
the keys look cool and scary, but really it's just, uh, it's no different than most other basic security pin locks. So let's uh, give you a look around before I get home. Let me get off the ground here. Oh, wash myself off some, off some sand. And I am still in Escalante right now. I'm on top of this dirt road. I just went to go dive into some slots. And slots are really narrow canyons that you, you hike through or squeeze through. But yeah, I thought this was a gorgeous little location right here. Great view of everything, just everywhere. Fortunately, not a 360 view, but she is still just look at this. All right, everyone, that was an Eva DPS. I will be home soon to get that for you. All right, we are back and I already have this gutted. For our pins, we see that they are mostly standard pins with a few spools in the top. We see over here on our pin five that they did account for the bigger, uh, taller key pin here by providing a shorter spool pin there so it does seem that they did pay attention to their spring tolerances there as a, uh, far as the um, sidebar goes the um, the passive sidebar that fits in the grooves of the key right there here it is and it just falls right out it's not spring loaded um, there's nothing else in there so if we look in the side right there we can see those grooves on the key where the sidebar fits in and here's the grooves on the sidebar itself and those fit in the key Let's see make sure it's the right direction here right there so you can see Focus. How that fits right there in those grooves right there. And so, put that back in. Just slides in. We put our key in right there. We can see that the sidebar is fitting flush with our key in, so it allows the plug to rotate. And if the key does not fit, pull it out a little bit, the sidebar sticks out into the body of the lock and it does not allow the core to rotate so it's basically a key control system is all that is there's nothing to pick on it it's just if there's a different sort of key or a different one of these keys with a different cut on it then that sidebar would engage with the body of the lock and would not allow it to turn and that's it this is our Eva DPS, uh, just another one of those keys that looks intimidating, similar to the uh, Abus Wavy line, just another uh, passive sidebar for key control. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.